The birds and the bees, the flowers and the trees at number nine on WLS's Silver Dollar Survey the week of March 5th, 1965 as we roll up the top ten. This was Jewel Aiken's only hit, but boy, he made the most out of it. Went to number two on Billboard's Hot 100. He was in a band called the Medallions. That was, they, they record for the Dutone. Due tone label. Danny joined a band, another band called the Four Dots. They record for the Freedom label. Now that was in the late 50s. By 1960, he had teamed up with a fellow named Eddie Daniels. They became Jewel and Eddie, and he recorded for the Silver Record label. And uh, later on in 1964, Jewel Akins was in a doo wop group. It was called the Turnarounds. And then he went solo in 1965, cut the birds and the bees. He passed away about a year ago in 2013. He's dead now. He, he had complications for back surgery. He was, he was 79 when he passed away. The Birds and the Bees was recorded at the famed Gold Star Studio in Los Angeles. Phil Spector's wall of sound was largely fabricated at Gold Star Studio in L.A. The Beach Boys worked on portions of their Good Vibration song with Brian Wilson at the helm, working with the legendary Wrecking Crew. Some of that song was recorded at Gold Star Studio. They had an engineer there. His name was Stan Ross. He used a technique on this song by Jewel Akins called chorusing. He patched the session guitarists. He patched him through an organ speaker the, the guitarist through an organ speaker, which gave the song a unique sound. I never figured out what instrument they used, or if it was some new instrument that they created or something, but it was really just this technique that they used. Gave the song The Birds and the Bees their, its unique sound. It's at number nine on WLS's survey the week of March 5th, 1965.